And this episode is sponsored by Stamps.com. If you're a small business owner, you're busy enough as it is. You don't have time to deal with the hassle of going to the post office. With Stamps.com, you can skip the trip and never waste another dollar or minute. Stamps.com lets you print official postage right from your computer so you can spend less time at the post office and more time running your business. For more than 20 years, Stamps.com has been indispensable for over 1 million businesses. Not to mention, you get access to all of the post office and UPS shipping services you need right from your computer. Plus, you get discounts you can't find anywhere else, like up to 40% off USPS rates and 76% off UPS. And the best part is all you need is a computer or a standard printer, no special supplies or equipment required. You're up and running in minutes, printing official postage for any letter, any package, anywhere you want to send it. Stamps.com has made my life so much easier as I map it out my goals for the new year. And most importantly, they have saved me so much time. So sign up today at stamps.com slash Mr. Make It Happen for a special offer that includes a four week free trial, free postage, and a digital scale. No long term commitment or contracts required. That's Stamps.com slash Mr. Make It Happen. What's up, guys? Welcome back. I know, I know, new year, new you. And that's why I'm here with not one, but two healthy meal prep options for you. But before we get into that, please take a quick second to subscribe to the channel. Make sure to hit that bell to enable notifications as well. All right, guys, meet me in the kitchen. Let's make it happen. I'm going to show you guys how to make this delicious keto skillet frittata and perfect chicken breast with a little cabbage on the side. First things first though, we're going to make the skillet frittata. These are all the delicious vegetables that we're going to use. We got some fresh spinach, some peppers, onions, jalapeno, which are optional, but I like the little spice that it provides. Then we have six eggs and some egg whites. This recipe is absolutely packed with flavor, tons of protein and vegetables. Great for meal prep. You can heat this up every morning for your breakfast. All right, we're going to break out a large measuring cup and add our egg whites. To that, we're going to add six whole eggs. If you're watching your cholesterol, want to cut back on the eggs, you can use three or four instead of six, or you can just use all egg whites. Once you've added all your egg products into the measuring cup, you want to break out the whisk and mix to combine. And now we're going to go ahead and prep our skillet. Preheat the oven to 350 degrees. We're going to use a 12 inch cast iron skillet for this that we're going to spray down with some cooking spray to make sure nothing sticks after that we're going to add two tablespoons of butter and a little avocado oil the avocado oil has a very high smoke point it's going to help prevent that butter from burning when we toast our vegetables and once that butter is nice and melted we're going to go in with one pound of all natural jimmy dean sausage for the pork patrol out there you don't have to use this brand of sausage you use ground turkey for this as well or ground chicken anything like that will work just fine once our meat is fully cooked we're going to go ahead and add in those veggies the bell pepper the onion the jalapeno we're going to season this up with my all-purpose seasoning which is a blend of salt pepper garlic and onion powder give that a good mix and let those veggies sweat down and get nice and tender oh man this recipe is packed with flavor guys lots of protein lots of vegetables perfect for meal prep you know we got to add in a little garlic i'm going in with about a teaspoon or so of garlic paste you can use fresh garlic or minced garlic for this as well give that a good mix everything should be nice and fragrant your house is gonna be smelling absolutely amazing once everything's cooked down, we're going to add the spinach towards the end and let the residual heat wilt down that spinach. Once we achieve that, we're going to add our egg mixture. This should be just enough eggs to fill this 12 inch cast iron skillet. So if you don't have this, you might want to use something similar in size. Again, guys, the oven is preheated at 350 degrees. All the specific measurements and ingredients are provided for you in the description box below. We're going to go ahead and hit this with a little extra seasoning, a little salt, because my seasoning is a low sodium product. You want to let this cook on low for about a minute or two until the eggs begin to set on the edges like you see right here. Then it's okay to go ahead and top this with cheese before we pop it in the oven. You can use whatever blended cheese you like here. I have a little Colby Jack. We're going to pop that in the oven at 350 for about 20 to 25 minutes or until it's nice and golden brown like so. Then we're going to top it with some fresh chopped parsley. You want to let this cool for about 10 to 15 minutes before you slice into it. And while we let that cool, it's time to move on to our our next meal prep i'm going to show you guys how to make delicious fried cabbage and the perfect chicken breast and first things first we're going to get started with that cabbage we're going to go ahead and chop up some red and green bell pepper some onion obviously we need a head of cabbage that we're going to clean and chop into bite-sized pieces and once we've prepped all our veggies it's time to go ahead and prep our smoked sausage you can use whatever brand smoked sausage you like you can use turkey beef pork chicken whatever floats your boat this here is smoked beef i'm just going to cut it up into bite-sized pieces like you see right here i like to cut it into strips and then just chop it up into bite-sized pieces nice and simple this is going to add a lot of flavor to our cabbage you can use andouille sausage which i typically use so sometimes i switch it up and use smoked beef or smoked turkey Whatever you find, kielbasa works great as well. Really, you can use whatever sausage you want, or you could leave the sausage out altogether and use bacon. 
Next, my friends, we're gonna go ahead and warm up our Dutch oven over medium heat, add some avocado oil, and then we're gonna add in that smoked sausage. Right now, what we're doing is trying to develop some color on the sausage. When you get it from the store, it's actually already fully cooked, but when you caramelize it like we're doing right here, it develops even more flavor, and that's what we're looking for. So just trust the process, guys. After three or four minutes, you'll see it start to brown up nicely. You see some beautiful fawn developing at the bottom of the pan. We're gonna go ahead and add our veggies so they can soak up all that flavor as well. You wanna soften them up for about three or four minutes, let them get nice and tender. You can see that some of the juices have accumulated down at the bottom. That's gonna to add tons of flavor to our cabbage. Now we're going in with one teaspoon of garlic paste. You can use fresh garlic or minced garlic for this as well. Oh man, this looks good. Good luck finding a more flavorful side dish to pair with your meal prep. Once you got everything right where you want it, we're gonna go ahead and add in that cabbage and then put the lid on so it can start to soften up. Then we're going to season it with one packet of Sasson. If you're trying to avoid MSG, I totally get it. You can buy the version from the store that doesn't have it. Then we're going to add some smoked paprika as well. And then I'm going in with my all-purpose seasoning. That's a blend of salt, pepper, garlic, and onion powder. I promise you guys I'm going to announce when it restocks. We've had some delays from our supplier due to COVID, and we're doing the best we can. We'll have it in stock very soon, and I'll announce it as soon as it's back in stock. Thank you guys for all the support on the seasoning. Once you got your cabbage seasoned up beautifully, we're gonna go ahead and mix it around, make sure everything's evenly distributed. We're gonna add two tablespoons of butter to the party, cause why the hell not? And now my friends, I'm gonna show you guys how to make the perfect chicken breast. We're gonna go ahead and season these up. You can use a blend of salt, pepper, garlic, onion powder, a little cayenne or chili powder if you wanna add a little spice. We're gonna season both sides. The seasoning that I'm using here is low sodium, so that's why I'm being a little bit more heavy handed with it. You may need to adjust yours based on the sodium levels of the seasoning of your choice. I do recommend seasoning the presentation side last. That way you can make sure that it gets even coverage, which will equal even even color when you go to sear it in the skillet. When most people get on their health kick, they go to the grocery store and grab everything that they know is healthy, like chicken breast, and then it just sits in the back of the freezer and gets frostbitten. I'm gonna show you guys how to do this the right way, make sure the chicken is nice and juicy and you'll enjoy it each and every time you make it. And the real key to perfect chicken breast is ensuring that you don't overcook it. And the only way to do that is to have a digital food thermometer. If you don't have one, you can get it on my website. There's a discount there for you as well, or just pick one up at Target or Amazon. Now that that lecture's out of the way, let's talk about heat. We want our cast iron skillet nice and hot. We're gonna add some avocado oil, lay the meat away from you and press down to make sure you get maximum surface area contact with that skillet. It, that's going to ensure we get a beautiful golden brown color on our chicken breast and that's what we want we want presentation we want a nice crust that's going to develop and have nice flavor and right on cue take a look at that chicken breast say it with me guys looking good and that crust is critical guys not only does it give you presentation but it also gives you flavor and texture and speaking of flavor we just added three tablespoons of butter to the party we're going to baste these chicken breasts to ensure that they're extra juicy and flavorful and then we're going to pop them in a 400 degree oven for about 10 to 15 minutes or until they hit 165 degrees internal temperature. And those, my friends, are absolutely beautiful. Let's poke them with the food thermometer to see where we're at. And as you can see, we're right at 164. Chicken breast is done at 165. We're gonna allow this to rest for about five or six minutes before we slice into it, and that's gonna be absolutely perfect. I like to let my chicken rest on a plate. That way it can accumulate any juices, and we can use that to pour right on top of the chicken after we slice it up. After our chicken has had a few minutes to rest, we're gonna go ahead and slice this up and see what we got. We're gonna cut this at an angle or on a bias like you see right here. Mostly for presentation purposes. Also, the thicker you slice it, the less dry that it'll get when you reheat it. That's a little best practice for you as well. You can see this is plenty juicy, still kind of hot as you can see the steam coming off of there. I'm going to hit it with a little fresh squeezed lemon juice because I love lemon with my chicken. And let's take a peek at this. Oh man, just extra juicy, perfectly cooked. That, my friends, is how you execute a chicken breast. Our cabbage has had time to cook down and get nice and tender. We're going to use a slotted spoon to remove that. You can just see the flavor dripping off the cabbage. We're going to plate this up in our Tupperware containers because this is a meal prep episode and I'm going to eat this for the next couple of days. You guys have got to give this recipe a try. Let me know what you think in the comments. If you want to see more meal prep options, I have some more content on the way for you guys. For everybody that's trying to lose a couple pounds, I'm right there with you. The cabbage is looking absolutely beautiful. We're gonna add the chicken to the party. We got our skillet frittata for our breakfast meal prep. And we're good to go for a few days during the week. You can do this twice a week and you'll be good to go. Brace yourself for a meal prep money shot. Say it with me guys, looking good and it's tasting good. Getting you guys right where you wanna be for the new year. 
Let me know what you think in the comments. Make sure you give your boy a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button and the bell to enable notifications. And as always, thank you for your support.